Most Americans have an IRA or retirement account. Sometimes you want to move the account to a different broker or bank. If you take money from your IRA or retirement account, you have to redeposit it by the 60th day after the day your money was that you received the money. If you miss that deadline by even one day, it can have devastating tax consequences. Here to discuss the new IRS rules to help avoid these problems is my law partner, Michael Solomon. Hello, Lori. So first, tell me about the problem with missing the, the deadline date. Well, if you take your money out of an IRA or 401k, 403b, any sort of plan, and roll it over, take it out and roll it over to, uh, let's say, an IRA, you have 60 days to do that. But if you miss that, then you owe income taxes on the money, and you, if you're under 50 and a half, you owe a 10% penalty. So otherwise, it's tax-free, but if you miss that deadline, you have those taxes. And worse yet, if you blow the 60 days and you still transfer it to an IRA, not only do you owe income taxes and that penalty if you're under 50 and a half, but you owe another penalty for putting too much money in the oh, IRA. So man. there are a lot of tax consequences. So what do the IRS do to help avert this tax disaster? Well, the IRS issued what's called the Revenue Procedure 2016-47. What they did is they said, if you miss, if you miss this 60-day uh, period, for certain reasons that they list, they'll waive the, uh, the, the penalties if you get that money in the IRA that time period. The, the errors that you can make that they'll give you an excuse if the bank makes a mistake or the brokerage company makes a mistake or if uh, you put money in an account and you thought it was an IRA account, it didn't turn out to be an IRA account. If, you, uh, if your home is severely damaged and that caused a delay or a family member died or is seriously ill or the post office called, caused a delay or your dog ate the uh, check. That one I made up. That's not the real <laughs> one. But there are some other uh, uh, matters or excuses that are put in that revenue procedure. So if this happens to you, what do you do? Well, first of all, as soon as you find out, get the money in the IRA as soon as you can. Uh, number two, uh, the IRS said they won't argue that you waited too long if you get it in within 30 days of, of finding out about the problem. And write a letter to the broker or the bank explaining the situation. Now, the IRS has given you a form letter to use. So you use that form letter, you give it to the bank and brokerage company, and, and you go from there. So you're good if you do that? Well, unfortunately, I can't say you're 100% good. If you're audited and the IRS disagrees that you didn't satisfy any of those rules, then they could still impose the penalty tax and the interest and all that sort of stuff. So the best thing is don't play it close to the 60 days. Or better yet, if you're going to move your money around, do a transfer right from one place to the other. It's called a trustee-to-trustee -trustee transfer. Don't touch the money. Then you'll never have that problem. All right, good tip. Don't cause yourself a tax disaster by missing the 60-day rollover rule. However, if you do miss the deadline, there may be a way to save the day. If you have any questions, give Mike a call. The number's next. Call Solomon, Steiner, and Peck at 1-888-236-5173 for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization. Or log on to www.ssnplaw.com. Thanks for joining us. Come back next week for more great information. But until then, please remember to make the most of your golden opportunities. If you'd like to join our kitchen conversation, visit our website, www.goldenopportunities.tv. Like us on Facebook. Call us at 440-742-GO-TV or email us at kitchen at goldenopportunities.tv. We'd love to hear from you. Golden Opportunities is paid for by Elder Productions.